It is the opinion of a lot of people that Amber Heard only rose to fame and got her big breaks once she married Johnny Depp, with the Enlister opening up doors of opportunities for her that she simply would not have otherwise. And yet, Amber never quite seemed to be grateful and reports about her so-called delinquent behavior came out quite often in the years that they were together and at the defamation trial. One of her most bizarre and disrespectful acts was, well, see for yourself. Yes, that is right, that is indeed Amber Heard in the black, eating food from the plate and throwing it over her shoulder. Does she care that some poor janitor will have to clear it up once she's done wasting food? No, this ungratefulness and callous disregard is something that has been evident throughout the last few years when a lot of things have come out about her. Amber Heard and her attorneys produced photos in response to Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife that revealed the actor's shattered closet after her then-husband allegedly went on a rampage. That was Heard's team's position. However, as we will see throughout the video, this does not appear to be the case. Broken clothing racks and strewn expensive apparel, shoes, and purses covered the floors of Heard's $3 million Los Angeles condominium, where she stored her clothing and accessories. It was one of the actor's five connected penthouses in the Eastern Columbia skyscraper in downtown Los Angeles. These were the text messages sent between the couple's employee and a building worker. Good morning, sir. So um, Johnny destroyed Amber's closet. And there's some other damage to PH5, wrote the individual working for the couple. That person then added, You're the person I should talk to about that, correct? Kevin, who worked for the building where Depp was living at the time, responds that he will deal with the situation, prompting the other individual to text, Insanity. Just upping insanity. This occurred on March 23, 2015, just one month after Heard and Depp married on a secluded island in the Bahamas. However, there is also significant evidence that was revealed later that showed this did not happen the way Heard and her team claimed it. Why? Well, on the night that the alleged apartment smashing happened, Heard claimed that she had been physically assaulted and called 911. Now, Heard and her friends have testified in various legal suits that Depp threw a phone at her face and wrecked their penthouse kitchen during the infamous May 2016 altercation. But the actor's lawyers were firm in their assertion that the gruesome depictions of destruction, the smash candelabras, glass strewn on the floor, and crimson wine sloshed on the wall and carpets contradict what police recall. Four separate LAPD officers came to the trendy, loft-style apartment in downtown Los Angeles within two hours after Heard's friends dialed 911 twice by mistake. This video does not aim to promote or slander anyone, only to present facts as they are written and speculate. The first two cops issued statements stating that they swept the $1.5 million property but found no injuries, vandalism, or proof of a crime. Their body cam footage also showed a clean corridor leading to a beautiful kitchen and living room decorated with ornaments, fresh flowers, stacks of books, and multiple candles and candelabras. However, the cops did not appear to notice anything odd and there was no visible evidence of damage, disarray, or stains to the floors or carpets in the three and a half minute recordings. According to Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, the footage showed there was no trashing spree and that Heard's account of the event cannot be trusted. Amber Heard and her friends described a chaotic, messy crime scene, but the newly released LAPD body cam videos unambiguously show that the penthouse was utterly undamaged and that their testimony was one more grandiose lie, Waldman told DailyMail.com in a statement. A gigantic wine stain throughout the entire corridor was cited in earlier evidence for Heard's divorce, which Waldman claims would have been impossible for the two sets of detectives to overlook. He added, you can see clearly in the police body cam videos that all the items Ms. Heard and her friends claimed Mr. Depp smashed to smithereens with a wine bottle off the island in his penthouse kitchen. Glass, fruit, baskets, vases, and candelabras are in perfect condition and tidily in their place. Nor does the red wine they claim that Mr. Depp splashed all over the light-colored hallway carpets and walls exist. These videos prove unambiguously that the first two police officers on the scene told the truth about no damage. It is not complicated, Ms. Heard and her confederates lied. Heard's legal team continued to maintain that Depp allegedly destroyed Heard's closet when he was on break from filming Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales. That hiatus was not planned, instead, it was a forced four-week vacation brought on by Depp's hand injury. In court filings, Heard alleged that Depp chopped off the tip of his finger during an altercation when he was drunk and high on ecstasy. 
He was angry at the actress because he believed she had been sleeping with Billy Bob Thornton, according to Heard. Thornton and Heard both denied that claim, but it wasn't the first time that Amber has been accused of cheating on Johnny whilst they were together. Heard accused her 58-year-old ex-husband of acting violently out of jealousy for actors such as James Franco. In 2015, she co-starred in the film The Adderall Diaries with James Franco. Depp, as he has said in court, despised Franco and was enraged when he discovered Amber and Franco had kissed for a sequence in the film. Depp branded her to slut on a private plane and asked her in sexually graphic language what Franco had done to her body. Depp smelt like cannabis and alcohol, according to Heard. He tossed objects at her as she shifted seats to avoid him until he got behind her and kicked her in the back, before the indifference of the bodyguards and the plane crew. I felt so embarrassed that he could kick me to the ground in front of people, said Heard. Depp said on the stand that he suspected Heard of having an affair with Franco, among other co-stars. Van Rottenborn, Heard's attorney, recalled a heated discussion Depp had with Heard about a movie scene with Franco, interrogating the actor about his insecurities about Heard's connection with her male co-stars. Depp could be heard telling Heard in an audio clip presented in court, I become irrational when you're doing movies. I become jealous and F being weird and we fight a lot more. However, Depp's suspicions were not without merit, for Amber Heard was pictured in an elevator with James Franco in the evidence presented during the trial. In the video footage, Heard is also in the elevator and seems to be naked, with only a blanket covering her. She exhibits physical affection for both Musk and Franco. During the libel case in London against the son for branding him a wife beater, Depp implied that his then wife was having affairs with other men. According to The Independent, texts from the tech mogul to Heard were read aloud, in which he offered her 24 7 security. He'd sent, The offer would stand, even if you never wanted to see me again. Anyway, sorry for being an idiot. The radio silence hurts a lot. It only matters because I really like you. As if that wasn't enough, actress Amber Heard was slammed with yet another claim in the aftermath of Johnny Depp's high-profile defamation trial. She was accused of sexually blackmailing Hollywood men, including Aquaman director James Wan, to secure roles. A lot of us were actually pretty shocked when we found out that Amber Heard had been cast as Mira in the Aquaman movies, not because of the Johnny Depp situation but because she's not a great actress. I would hesitate to even call her B-list, the source further told Australian gossip site Pop Topic. According to The Insider, the studio has wanted her gone since before the trial, claiming she was a bad actress. They allegedly attempted to carry out a contract condition that would have resulted in her termination, but James went battle to keep her on. So, the executives decided to just limit her role in the entire film by cutting her screen time to just 10 minutes, according to the source, who claimed that again. James Wan fought to restore her scenes, something about his artistic direction and whatnot. I am almost positive she slept with him, but I'm even more certain that Aquaman 2 will be the last Hollywood movie you'll ever see Amber Heard in. Hollywood has blacklisted her, the source additionally noted. So, do you think Amber had affairs with all these men? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.